All right guys, welcome back to Hanging with Heavy. We're gonna be doing some rig tying here and what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna do a tandem uh, chunking rig. You guys use them for clams, uh, for, for stripers, use them for clams, for uh, drum fish. Anywhere you're using a big bait and wanna have two, two hooks, two hooks into your bait, uh, this, is a good, this is a good rig for that. We're using the 9-0 Gamagatsu. Uh, real sharp hook, great, you know, good all-around hook, not going to break the bank. There's some better hooks out on the market, but they're also a lot more expensive hooks. But what we'll do is we're going to we're gonna snell them in tandem so you can hook the top of this into a, into a big uh, moss bunker and then, you know, hook this in towards the back. A lot of guys for uh, for stripers are using these, you know, big baits, so you want to get, uh, put a, you can put a double hook in there and make sure that they uh, find their mark. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do this as a uh, double snell, and uh, we're going to put it on 60 pound test, uh, which is more than adequate. At, adequate. And uh, I'll show you how to do the snails. We, they're, they're both snails, they're both good snails, but they're both tied uh, a little bit differently. <clears throat> so you're going to move your, move your hook up. You're going to come through the loop here. This is going to be your main, your main line. And you're going to bring your, your back behind. But you want to make sure when you bring it, because this is going to be where your tag, you know, how your tag end goes. You want to make sure you give yourself plenty of tag in the back. So it's hard with this floor. I was a little. You want to make sure you got plenty of uh, tag to work with. I'm going to move that up a little bit. So. We got our hook in the middle of our loop, and we're going to work towards the back of the work towards the back of the bend of the hook. So we're going to come through one, two, three. This floor is being a pain. There we go. Four. doing tying too many knots I'm getting my knots confused So you give yourself plenty of room in the back, lay it over the top. Work towards the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, get your tag end out of the way so it doesn't get clipped up in there. Pull it. Alright, lock it down. And then you got your tag in, your other tag. So you got your long tag. That's your first hook. And then you're going to take this hook, come up. Come up through, make your loop, give yourself plenty of plenty of space, all right, and then you're going to work towards the back of this loop. You're going to go one, see it, working back towards, away from your fingertips, three, four, five, all right, go through the loop. Give myself enough, did I? 
work it up through there, grab a hold of it, let it stretch itself out a little bit so it doesn't come undone and doesn't go over to, over the top of the eye of the hook. We don't want it to jump the eye. But you want to have it like that. Now, again, you moisten it up. Don't stick a hook in your lip. And then you're going to grab this and slowly start to pull it down. This is where it's a Got it tight, lock it in. See that? L locked in. Careful when you're pulling on this because if you're pulling too hard and you slip, you're going to wish you didn't as you drive a 9 0 deep into your hand. So you can make them shorter or longer, however you want to do it. Guys leave them a little longer when they're using two clams. They'll put a, clam, a whole clam on this one, and they'll put a whole clam on this one. You got two clams down there. So one gets eaten, he's moving right up to the other one, trying to trying to suck both of them down. Um, <clears throat> fishing with big bunker, pound a piece bunker, one goes up in the lips, one gets hooked hooked in the back. So, <clears throat> so you got two hooks in your bait. So once again, trim it up tight. <clears throat> so you got your both of your hooks are in tandem on one leader. For using a big piece of bait or using double clams you know I imagine if you were fishing down down south or something and we had a whole big corn cob mullet you could hook one up through the top one in the back so if you're ever fishing with big bait you got a mono rig so you're not really where we're up up here you're not fishing with uh, with anything that's uh, it's got a bunch of teeth, you know, so, but there you go. And then what we'll do, we'll just put a swivel, swivel on it, do a palm or not. So come through the eye of the swivel, go back through the eye of the swivel. So you got plenty of room. You're going to make an overhand knot, keep your swivel in the middle. Overhand knot, start to cinch it down a little bit, and you're gonna come let your swivel come through, and then bring that loop back up here, moisten it up. You want that top loop to lock. Oh, see that? All right, there's a perfect example. That's what I talk about when the loop doesn't lock. See that big bow you got up in there? That's a perfect example of what not to do. It never cinched down. And that right there will come loose. This may be a little, this 60 might be a little stiff for this. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try it again. If I can get my clippers to work. Alright, trim it back so there's no nicks or anything in it. So once again, go through, come back, give yourself a big enough loop. I'm actually thinking this isn't gonna really work. I've done them with with heavier line, but this thing this really stiff 60 pound fluoro. So drop it down through. Okay. This doesn't seem like it's going to want to get real moist. And there it did. There, that time it did. It came over the top. So, one, of you, one, one trick that I like to use, you can just put a, in a hook eye and just cinch it down. So... It, that one locked over the top, and as long as that locks over and cinches down, it ain't, ain't going nowhere. So, what I'm gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do? That's one way to do it. I'm also gonna just show you the other way to get this swivel on there. We're just going to tie a 
Try a clinch knot. Get that the seat right. You know that seated right, but you know that time. Well, we can show you another way to do it also. So go through. Give yourself a decent tag end. One, two, three, four, five. Come through. Get it moist, and then just there you go. It's just a basic clinch, seated properly, and that ain't going nowhere. Trim it back with your clippers. Got more clippers in my tackle box than I do in my house. And leave a little bit of a tag on that. Cinch it down. Make sure it's solid. So you got a tandem hook rig, tied in tandem, tandem snails. So, all right, once again, Tanging with Heavy, brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your marine financing needs, go visit BoatLoans.com. Whether you're buying a new boat or you're looking to refinance the boat you have, check out BoatLoans.com. Tips and tricks, Hanging with Heavy. As always, have a great day. Thanks, guys.